the despair in so many uh, of our neighbors' um, eyes and, and feeling when they come up and get for food. The season of giving is here, and President and CEO of the Community Bank of New Jersey, Carlos Rodriguez, says nonprofits in Jersey need your help this year more than ever. It's the sense of uh, unimaginable that reality is, uh, and all you have to do is go to any pantry or any large-scale distribution to kind of see that. Uh, just long lines, and you just see the look of shock uh, in people's faces. Nine months later, is still there. With so many spending so much on Black Friday and Cyber Monday, Rodriguez is now asking for you to reach into your wallet once more, this time for Giving Tuesday, which he describes as a lifeline for nonprofits like the food bank. But the pandemic is here uh, to stay with us uh, well after the vaccines are distributed and administered. Families are going to be suffering. Families are suffering. Rodriguez says pre-pandemic, the food bank was providing enough food for 50 million meals. He says now they're on pace to deliver more than 80 million meals. If more things are being purchased and there were complications in producing it, uh, what we call supply chain challenges, that's less donations available to food bank. Uh, so we've had to adapt to that reality by looking elsewhere for sources of food. One area that we've increased tremendously is in what the percentage of food that we have to purchase. Now, luckily, every dollar helps support up to three meals, uh, so we can really leverage that dollar to help bring in as many meals as possible. The IRS says there are 30 for 35,000 charitable types of nonprofits in the state of New Jersey. Uh, we did some surveying earlier this year. We did three surveys with the Council of New Jersey grant makers and a small uh, subset of nonprofits responded to that survey they said at that time that they had lost over $90 million. No doubt the, the figure is worse now. Donations are down because a lot of the people who used to be in the position to give are no longer in that position right now, says Linda Zippo, president and CEO of the Center for Nonprofits. So many uh, factors that have just conspired to wreak havoc on our on New Jerseyans across, and across the country, and nonprofits have stepped in to provide life-saving care, comfort, relief, and at the same time, you know, they're seeing their demands for service go up. They're seeing their expenses go up. Zippo says the nonprofits that are most at risk are the ones that have the highest demands in local communities. Those local community-based organizations that are the first stop, last stop, only stop for, for people who are looking for assistance. Zippo and Rodriguez stress that no donation is too small and maybe next time you find yourself with some spare cash or or even change donated to your local nonprofit. For NJ Spotlight News, I'm Raven Santana.